All right. Uh, just the recording has started. Uh, before we go into a webinar, I'd like to remind you that we are for some housekeeping role. Um, the, any question and comments are more than welcome. So if you have a question during the session, please don't hesitate, hesitate to enter your question into a question and answer display or the chat menu. If you enter your comment in chat menu, uh, this will be viewed by everyone in the guest. If you uh, enter your comment in a question and answers, it's kept as a private, so only I can see your uh, questions. So let me start. So again, uh, we will start a new product launching of uh, Mimaki's UJF uh, platform series, which has launched uh, in a six months ago globally. So for, uh, to begin with, um, uh, Mimaki headquarter in Japan and us globally, we launched in later 2021, uh, the four different platform as our latest technology with a UV printing system. Uh, we have a you know, wide format uh, printing system, which is JFX 600. Uh, we will cover this uh, product in a, um, as a webinar. Also 3D UJ2207, this is a very unique and a niche market for 3D printing with a full color applications. So today's focus is the two products in the bottom of a display, our UJF range, UJF Mark II E series and the UJF 7151 uh, Plus II series. So we are going uh, to explain this uh, product for today. All right, just in general, having us uh, four different uh, platform regards to uh, in the UV printing system. Uh, if you look at the uh, in the left hand side, uh, the corner product, we have UJF uh, range, which is a uh, you know, very unique uh, small to middle size of a uh, uh, flat bed, uh, the printing bed, which works for uh, you know the more to novelty and uh, promotional printing application. So uh, for example, smartphone case, promotional goods and the control panels and the 3D model signage. Um, JFX series is a grand format flatbed, the large, sign, large size signage, furniture and decors for doors and the window printing and the photo panels with uh, you know, the wide format application. Uh, UV roll-fed printing, UJV series and UCJV series. They are the roll-to-roll -roll printer, uh, which is 64 inches wide, uh, which works for banner and uh, generic signage printing and labels. And lastly, 3D printing as well. So in general, the Mimaki UV printing benefit as a printing solution, uh, we support more than two types of uh, ink for any UV printers, except for 3D printing, but uh, for flatbed printing and uh, the binary and wall-fed printing, we support more than two types of ink as always for uh, you know two main applications. We will go over this later on. And uh, Mimaki has got the whitest white ink with UV in the market. We provide one software, which is rustering series, comes with all uh, all printers, and you can plug for uh, any Mimaki printer from one software. We support most of the, the UV, uh, most of UV product. We support a clear and the varnish ink to increase the variety of our printing product. So let's go over more details of the uh, product portfolio regards to uh, um, our UJF platform. So the product range, product portfolio as of today, in this graph, in the display, we have from a left-hand side to a right above corner as an you know, entry model to a more precision model. As an entry model, we have UJF 3042 FX, which was released more than 10 years ago, but still it's known as the, uh, uh, the most uh, economic uh, product in the market and which works for the entry, the, the market entry, low volume product uh, applications. 
in the middle range, we have the new UGF 3042 or 6042 Mark II E model, which is a minor change model from a Mark II model in the market. And at the highest range, we have UGF 7151 Plus II model, which is a you know, major change from our current 7151 Plus model with uh, uh, additional heads and other functionalities. So having uh, those um, the four different products, we are today in a promotional printing market. So I'd like to um, um, summarize the, uh, you know, what's new in a UJF uh, Mark II E model to begin with. So there are two uh, unique points that's been a minor change from my existing Mark II a previous model to an E model. This small E in the model name stands for enhanced model. So it's not really the major change from a previous model. However, there are really small, there are lots of small changing in order for you know supporting a customer for advance um, and expand their printing needs in the market. So the first change is a smooth gradation image quality with MFD Mimaki Fine Diffusion version two half toning control in the image quality. The second difference is by having the newest raster link, uh, RIP software, raster link seven, which comes standard with uh, you know, every uh, Mimaki latest model, that it has a variable data printing functionality without having any additional software purchase. So you, so you can do the variable data printing with having only one software, which is raster link. Just for general understanding, uh, you know, before we go into more technical details, the UJF uh, Mimaki's UJF series always has advantage from uh, our competitors, having a color head CMYK and having a white head staggered position. From the back side, we have CMYK head, and the front side we have a uh, we have a white head. By having those print head configuration, you can print two layers, which is CMYK and the white layer, which is the two separate layer without having, you know, the two different jobs. So you can do one job, you can print one job and without sacrificing a printing speed with a CMYK, you can put a white ink on an underlay or overlay. So in general, this is uh, no, the in general this is an advantage of a Mimaki UV product for in general, not only UJF model but the other models as well. So we have three different models in a UJF uh, Mark II E uh, range. We have 3042 Mark II E, we have 3042 Mark II EXE, and UJF 6042 Mark II E model. So we have two different models in the 3042 and one model in the 6042. Let me tell you what's the, you know, the advanced difference. So UGF 3042 Mark IIe has only three print heads and Mark II EXE model and 6042 Mark IIe model have four print heads. Having one additional print head you are able to support two channels of white with a double density. Also, you can put a clear and a primer ink, which is additional two spot colors. Or alternatively, you can add light cyan and light magenta um, in the first print, which are uh, in additional print head in order to print the you know, photorealistic quality image for uh, you know, particular applications. So having one additional ink type, you have uh, you know, lots of different options for the ink set in order to cover the wide range of applications. Mm -hmm. 
regards to a new uh, half toning image controlling system, which is a Mimaki fine, diffu uh, uh, Mimaki fine diffusion uh, MFD2, what it is, is we have been controlling this uh, you know, half toning with uh, you know, our previous model. And since long time, having two different uh, half toning control, one is a standard half toning, and second one is MFD1 control. So the difference between uh, standard and MFD1 is it either you can make a uh, you can make a gradation and the skin tone better, or you can make a solid color better. However, you need to take you know one of the other in order to uh, perform the quality you want. The new Mark II E series supports Mimaki Fine Diffusion version two MFD two half toning control. How it works is it's uh, kind of, you know, the mid between the you know, standard half toning and MFD1 control. So you can still get the sufficient quality for half toning, skin tone, and gradation control. Also, you have a uh, certain uh, performance result of the solid color part. So let me tell you what the difference uh, we've made. So from a generic test, uh, test chart, it's very hard to say you know, what the differences are. However, uh, if you really get closer, if you look closer, which I think you are not able to you know, see the look through from a camera. However, from a you know, standard definition and MFD1 and MFD2, the skin tone is actually you know, getting the same uh, quality as a uh, standard uh, the diffusion. And if you look at the you know, solid color, which is a mixture of a CMY, uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, you actually have the you know, more smooth toning you know, without having uh, you know, the serious uh, grayness. Uh, let me tell you about uh, you know, variable printing, uh, the, which can be achieved by a rastering 7 lit software. The, as some of you may already know what variable printing and what's the functionality is for. The variable printing is, uh, can be used you know, mainly for the uh, you know, name card or name badge or member card printing purpose or the sportswear uniform printing purpose. For example, for the, uh, you know, uh, the membership card or uh, the credit card application, so basically, if you would like to print the you know, unique image, like you know, the person's photo for individual cards, but the card design is the same for everything. So you don't need to prepare the individual data with a different uh, you know, person's name or the membership number, as well as the, uh, you know, the template, uh, template data. However, you can just prepare the one template data and you can put the uh, person's name and number as well as the location of uh, you know, uh, the image data of the person's face in order to combine the data to print uh, serializedly. So how it works is the, uh, you, uh, you prepare the template data and you prepare the Excel spreadsheet converted to the, uh, you know, the text format to show the name, numbers, phone numbers, email address, as well as the you know, local location within a C drive for where the, you know, the person, the, the photo, the face photo is locating. So the raster link will actually combine individual data and the template data together to make individual card printing in one shot. So which still can be achieved by a certain software in the market. However, the benefit with Rastering 7 is you do not need to buy additional software to do this. So for more details of how it works and how to operate, please check out the, uh, uh, the webinar of myself, uh, the YouTube channel Tomomitsu Harada, and you can see lots of uh, the application, the webinar uh, recording, and there's one, uh, the specific uh, webinar, which talked, uh, which uh, I was talking about the uh, the variable printing and how it works.
which is pretty uh, the good function and it's easy to understand, easy to entry, and uh, no complications. The Raster Link 7 also supports the, uh, you know, the connecting with the you know, barcode reader for the JIG, uh, the, the barcode JIG data, which uh, we have a separate plugin software, which is called the JIG Link, which you can download from Mimaki website free of charge. It's a license free. The Raster Link 7 is able to uh, print a barcode by, uh, you know, barcode printer, not a Mimaki printer, but a barcode printer in order to uh, peel and stick into the, uh, bar, uh, the, bar, the template, in order to easily control the, you know, with the data uh, connecting to a barcode to print. So you do not need to uh, control, you know, hundreds of different data by manually. So please check out the jig link in the future. We don't have lots of um, the, um, understanding yet. But uh, in the next couple of weeks and a couple of months, now we will be engaging with this function to introduce more details. All right, that's basically it regards to the uh, uh, features and the benefit on the, uh, you know, the UGF Mark IIe. And now before we go into a 7151 series, I'd like to give you a quick uh, the, uh, live demo for the uh, uh, UGF uh, 6042 Mark IIe series. So let me change the uh, camera direction. All right. So here you can see in our showroom, we've got the three Mark II series. Starting from uh, you know, your left side, we have UGF 32, uh, the Mark IIe model, which is a smaller bed, 30 centimeters by 42 centimeters. And it's a full covered, uh, you know, it's, it's fully covered by uh, you know, transparent uh, the table. Also, we have the uh, you know, bigger model, UGF 6042 Mark IIe. And we also have a previous model, UGF 6042 Mark II. As you can see, the difference uh, between Mark II model and Mark IIe model, the body color is slightly different. The Mark II model, we have uh, you know, the original white uh, cover. However, the, this white cover can be yellowish after a couple of years. So that's the reason we added some of the you know, gray color in order to look uh, more pretty. The other difference is the shape of the front cover. The shape of the front cover on the 6040 Mark II is cornered, a little bit sharp cornered here. The 6040 Mark IIe, you have a nice carving shape on here. We have one another difference on the outfit. Unfortunately, the any of a white ink of uh, you know, uh, the digital printing market needs to be shaken in the every, uh, every other day or every week or fortnightly, or at least it needs, needs to be shaken. The previous model 6042 Mark II, the white ink is on the behind, so you need to always go back to behind, go, go back go back of the printer in order to take off, uh, remove the white ink and to shake. But looking at the Mark IIe model, we have got white ink in the front side. So it's a little bit, uh, you know, of a, uh, you know, difference. However, you can just, you know, um, access to a white ink in the front side here, just take it off, just wipe a bit and just shake for a couple of times and put it back in. So inside the printing, well, you only need to shake the white ink of bottle because there are uh, the two different uh, white recirculation system built in, uh, uh, built, uh, built inside of the machine. One is shaking the primary ink tank which is uh, below the ink bottle slot. Also, there is another um, the white circulation system 
to recirculate the white ink for entire print head, including sub tank. So as long as you maintain the ink bottle shaken every couple of days, you don't need to worry about the white color changing or density changing because it's all automatically uh, supporting with the recirculation. All right, I'm gonna give you some uh, you know example of applications. As I as I explained in the beginning, that we have uh, at least two types of ink available in any of uh, you know the UV platform with us. UGF series supports um, three different ink types: uh, ink type LH100, which is a hard ink, which is more uh, you know the better scratch resistance and chemical resistance. So it's stronger for wiping, and stronger for scratching. We also have LUS120 ink, which is more flexible ink. So flexible ink works for the, uh, you know, the printing on a rather phone case or the rather belt for more, you know, the stretch or, you know, bending purpose. So let me give you some understanding of uh, the uh, application. So for the hard ink, how it works is, for example, this is acrylic small signage printed with the, uh, you know, the black, uh, you know, the white behind, and the color of the sandwich in the other side of the acrylic. So we have a uh, you know, crystal trophy, not a plastic, but a crystal trophy. So we've got a white ink here. If you scratch with your nail, the ink won't come off. So it's pretty, you know, the good resistance for the ink. We also have, uh, you know, the phone case application with a phone case. So we have, you know, some people is doing the, you know, gold foiling or silver foiling along with the, uh, you know, the CMYK ink, because we have a primary ink also available in order to uh, make as a, you know, group purpose, and you can manually apply the, uh, the gold or silver foiling before you start, uh, you, before you print with a CMYK. So you can make a you know, really multiple, you know, the metallic um, the effect by only having a uh, you know, silver foiling. We've got for um, the cosmetic, you know, case printing, also the belt. So the ink won't bend or ink won't crack by even we do this, we bend like this. Well, of course, you know, some of the razor, old razor, you know, um, it, will, it will break if you bend too much. So ink will break, you know, when the, uh, when the you know, razor breaks, but the ink won't crack until razor breaks, which is pretty good thing. So now I'd like to quickly show the, uh, you know, the printing demo for uh, you know, clear acrylic, right? So you will have more understanding of the how easy to print something on UGF. Of course, it's easy to print something on world-fed printing, but when you come out, uh, when you uh, come to the end to print with the UGF series, after you get used to it, it's easy to print. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this onto the table, the bed. And close the bed. So make sure you close it because I know the, there won't be any uh, lead, small dust, you know, comes onto the printing surface, right? So what do you do on the machine side is as always, you need to change the, uh, the height of the media, you need to enter the height of the media. So machine supports um, up to 153 mil of uh, you know, the height. So if you see here, there are two shaft is connecting serialized. This shaft, this, this shaft is to lower the bed from highest, middle to lowest, depends on what the thickness of the, um, what's the thickness, what's the height or depth of the uh, you know, printing object. If you're printing more than 50 millimeters, five centimeters of an object, you need to remove two and put back one, so it goes to the middle. Or if you're printing more than 100 mil um, the object, you need to take them out 
So the bet can be lowered that much in order to you know print up to 153 mil. But today I'm just printing a three mil acrylic, so no worries about no worries about the uh, you know removing uh, shafts here. So sometimes it starts clicking, you know, under pumping because it's uh, you know certain uh, the pump uh, the white recirculation, but the, you know it goes away you know pretty soon. All right, for uh, head height, I'm gonna just set a three millimeters here. All right, after I set it, you can go to a vacuum to make sure that the you know, vacuum is on. Sorry, I unplugged before, so let me just plug it back for vacuum. So the vacuum is really nice and uh, silent, so it's not a uh, loud vacuuming because it's just a computer fan, two pieces of computer fan is actually sucking the, uh, the surface. Well, of course, you need to, you know, uh, you know, do advanced test print with your nozzle check and so on, with uh, just, uh, you know, the piece of uh, paper. I've done in the morning, so I won't do it again, right? So after setting a media, just set a remote. So the printer goes to a more, you know, connection mode. All right, for ripping, uh, rip software we have, we got the rustering software. So how you print a white and color, it's also easy because you do not need, as long as you print, uh, you know, the same size of a white uh, layer on a behind of a, you know, front side, you do not need to create any white layer from uh, Illustrator, from a uh, design. So you can just automatically, you know, make a white layer from rastering. So I've got the already white layer uh, ready. So I'm gonna just uh, you know, the, uh, print now. So make sure your size is right. I'm gonna just put the A4 size. Uh, print condition, I will just do uh, the first mode, the 600 by 608 pass. So which should print like I know hold better the two minutes and a half. For A4 sites, maybe it will print within a minute, but let's check out. Right, just bear with me. Well, I'm gonna just you know, keep it open while it's printing so you can at least see what's going on. The printer also, uh, you know, has a ionizer unit as an optional item. So when you have, you know, when you are planning to uh, print more to your acrylic piece or uh, the plastic piece, you know, which can happen to your more electrostatic, the ionizer really supports, uh, you know, the take off, uh, remove electrostatic on time. So, you know, you always need to consider to add this um, to uh, the machine when you're purchasing or when you're installing. The machine has also the, you know, the optional uh, stand, which is dedicated and uh, uh, which is designed for a UGF series. So make sure if you do not have your industrial stand at your installing location, make sure you purchase one. All right, just starts printing, so please bear with me. Um, 6042 Mark II E, the in a showroom, the ink set is with a light cyan, light magenta, as well as CMYK and one white and one primer. So white is only one channel here. So we are not expecting to have really, we are not expecting so much, you know, white density, but at least, you know, the visible, you know, white to cover the colored area.
Okay, it's probably coming uh, you know, halfway. So give me another half minute to finish printing. All right, it's just finished, and let's just wait until the table comes from to be safe. All right, let's see how it comes out. So right here, it's just a one channel of a white printing. However, you know, the density of the white is just enough. You know, it's not too much, it's not too less, but just enough quantity, uh, enough density of, uh, you know, white. So see, you know, how easy it is to print. All right, uh, in the next project, I will move over to uh, Alright, I, I just moved out the camera um, for a sec for UGF 7151 platform. Let me go from uh, the education part. All right, regards to UGF 7151 plus two, uh, which is, uh, you know, the purely upgraded model of uh, UGF 7151 plus. And uh, we still have a uh, you know, plus model and plus two models. So both models are available because, you know, sometimes the people would like to have the, uh, uh, you know, low investment cost. So price difference is between, uh, about uh, 8,000 USD or about uh, 10,000 Australian dollars. So, you know, depends on the people's um, the investment expectation of investment level. We have uh, two types of, uh, you know, machine still available. However, uh, I'm going to focus on plus two model today. So the new functionality, the four points, uh, two additional print heads. So total eight heads, where the previous plus model has uh, six print heads. So total of uh, eight heads model, it supports light cyan and light magenta for total of uh, you know, the six colors of uh, full color printing for uh, the high quality and the, high, the high, high quality of half toning printing. Or additionally, we are able to support dual CMYK in order to make 190% of a speed from a uh, you know, plus model or uh, you know, four, color, four color plus uh, spot color model. Second, high precision print, uh, printing bed. The printing bed is now has the four different motors to control instead of uh, only one motor controls in the plus model, previous plus model. So that's the reason why we are able to support up to 30 kilograms of a media weight. So there are niche applications that the people would like to have the aluminum uh, or the stainless or steel, the type of the jig, which easily goes up to 20 kilograms of a heavy duty, uh, the printing jig. So we are able to support that uh, needs. Uh, available ink type and color setting because, uh, you know, two different, two additional print head, you know, we have more various ink type and the ink color setting supported. Um, in additionally, we have a new color printing function, which is a color gross printing mode, uh, which has 
many people already, already knew that the uh, UV printing will make a surface as a texture of the, or as a mark, but this printing system 71, 50, and plus two can make the uh, you know glossy finish with only ink without having any laminate or without using a clear coat ink, the you know, varnish ink. So I'm going to explain this as well. So before we go to uh, in the more session, I would like to play one of the video. So please uh, watch. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'd like to go to the uh, you know the rest of the session. So, regards to two additional print heads, total of eight heads uh, as an advantage. Um, the printer can be set up. One moment, please. Sorry about that. Uh, printer can be set up with a various uh, ink set. So it depends on if you would like to do um, the six color plus two spot colors, or four color plus four spots, or four color, uh, four color double. So the person who installed the printer can slide the you know, two print heads, which is a third and fourth print head from front side to back side in order to decide uh, which uh, head configuration to use to cover the ink type for the customer. So just uh, you know, the explain more details about why and how the people require the CMYK times two, the four color dual, 
instead of having a white colors and uh, you know, clear and the primers. The reason is this, for more industrial printing application, people has, be, has already been printing with the white or as a coating or as a pre-coating liquid by using a pre-processed machine from, uh, you know, such as screen, part of printing and such and such. So more high-end or you know, production people in the factory do not require their entire whiting to print by digital, but a digital printer to print faster and only CMYK graphic. For that type of the needs, um, the the UGF seventy one fifty one Mark II, uh, the the seventy one fifty one Plus two model that support uh, you know two uh, the two sets of uh, the four colors four colors uh, the dual four color mode. Uh, regards to uh, the capacity of the weight on the bed. The previous plus model um, supports up to 10 kilos, and the new plus mark uh, plus two model does support uh, 30 kilograms. So for the people in the industrial and factories uh, who is print, who is using uh, you know, the high durable jig made by not plastic but uh, more metal and wooden such and such, uh, they can put, they can use those type of the industrial jig. And uh, the printing bed, you know, works for you know that much of a weight. The machine supports you know by having uh, you know two additional print head. The machine does support uh, you know the, the much more various ink types for the application demand. All right, to begin with, the machine supports three types of the ink, LH100 and LUS120. If you'd like more you know, rigid surface and uh, you know, the high resistance for scratch and uh, you know, the wiping with a chemical or Windex, you know, those type of uh, usage, the use uh, LH101, uh, which is a uh, hard ink. For your needs of printing on a rather belt or a you know, rather smartphone case for the bending purpose, use LUS 120 ink. For a uh, you know, thermal application, the heat thermal application uh, for 3D signage, 3D applications, the LUS 350, which is uh, you know, the flexible up to 350%, also available for that purpose. So the, uh, the type of, uh, you know, number of the ink set, it depends on the ink type you are using. Start with a four color dual. Four color dual ink set requires the ink to stick and ink to cure uh, the quickly. So we only have LH100 ink type supports four color dual. Four color plus light cyan, light magenta is supported by LH100 and LUS 120, but LUS 350 does not uh, produce a light cyan, light magenta, so there is no light setting for LUS 350. The white, clear, and the primer is supported by uh, LH100 and LUS 120. And in addition, uh, we have a silver ink for UV which supported, uh, which combined to uh, LH100 ink. The lastly, I would like to uh, go um, details regards to color gloss printing mode. Again, as you know, in general, the printing with the UV ink will leave the texture surface so it uh, you know, normally does not become uh, you know, the gross finish after printing. However, having a large uh, size of the uh, UV LED array on 1751 plus two model, it can, uh, it can do uh, you know, uh, the more detailed control of UV to combine with the uh, you know, digital printing. So by having uh, you know the such a trick, 
you can instantly change with a normal printing to color gross printing from a whip software in one check so that the final result of a UV printing becomes uh, becomes more glossy without printing uh, without printing with overcoat or without printing uh, you know glossy the varnish varnishing however from our testing result in our research and development at the factory we found out that the uh, you know not uh, not so much media type will, media type will support this but mainly we have a uh, uh, the pet the pet film that support this uh, color gloss print you know really works better however if you print on the generic vinyl for a signage usage the amount of the gloss on a color gloss printing will be reduced so it is required to do an advanced test before committing a customer we can uh, we can do for customers media for color gloss printing All right, now I'd like to switch camera again in order to go over the, some uh, you know, details of a UJF 17 and 50 machine. Where is it? All right, here we've got uh, you know two different model of a UGF 1751. So the white one on the back side is a 1751 plus. The machine on the front side is 1751 plus two. So first you can realize that the, uh, the color of the body, it's more white on the old model and the newer model is more black and gray. If you're looking at the you know, ink bay, the 1751 does support uh, six, um, up to six colors. So you have a three and a three on the left, uh, left and right. The 1751 plus two model does have a four on this side and four on the other side because of two additional print heads. So if you look at the, you know, what kind of application does work for 1751, it's look at this. This is This is the uh, the plate for watch the dial, right? In order to print the, the specific uh, quality with this dial, you really need to have the uh, you know the good tolerance of a line, the small line on the, the horizontal and the vertical. If you try to print with a vinyl printer, it normally doesn't work. If you are trying to print with a UGF 6042 Mark II, it sometimes works, but it's not inconsistent. However, by using 1751 with the high precision machine, it actually works. So the people is using this for the, uh, you know, uh, the control panel or uh, the monitor panel for airplane and, uh, you know, ocean ships, such and such. Let me show you other samples here. This is a print sample by, it's probably hard to see the camera, you see through the camera, but this is a print uh, done by uh, six colors, including light cyan and light magenta. So comparing to four color printing, you can, really, it's really hard to see the grayness on a skin tone. There's a different sample about the uh, color gloss. So the bottom side, this is uh, no, 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 the no gloss surface. So it's only uh, ink with uh, no gloss, uh, no, color, uh, no color gloss printing. But the top side, this is a color gloss printing. So you can see the, uh, you know, the difference of the how gross it is. Unfortunately, this is done by uh, you know, our you know, factory standard pet gloss, uh, pet gloss um, the media. So I can't say that uh, you know, this function works for standard vinyl, generic vinyl and uh, you know, the other, other types of the media. However, this is showing the result of our applications. There are other functionalities, you know, the, as long as um, you have used the 1751 plus before, 
and you would like to, you know, the put another machine for 70 and 51. How you use the machine is the same. It comes with the Rust Starting 7, uh, the newest RIP software, but Rust Starting 7 also free upgraded from uh, Rust Starting 6 Plus for uh, certain customers. And you can connect the Rust Starting 7 to the old machine as well. So it's, um, uh, it's pretty, you know, user friendly regards to the uh, upgrading from existing customers. For new customer for 70 or 51, you probably need a uh, you know, certain amount of the uh, training. But uh, in the machine, we include the uh, three days installation training. So install to be one and a half day and training to be one and a half day. And it depends on the you know, customer's uh, you know, demand. We can, of course, you know, work on the you know, enough training, you know, extending training hours in order to support the customers. All right, I'm back here. So I would like to wrap up you know, to, uh, today's training. So I would like to, uh, firstly, I would like to say thank you for your time today. We have uh, you know, the more, uh, more guests coming today than what I expected. Uh, I really appreciate your time in the middle of the week. And I would like to welcome your questions for the next five minutes. Uh, you can enter your question. If you are not too shy, uh, you can press the uh, raise hand button on your right above the window. So I'm going to put you on the live speaker to ask the question. And after these five minutes, uh, you can remain for maybe 10 minutes uh, while I'm here. Uh, I'm at, at this moment, I'm back at uh, you know, the Japan from Australia. And I'm at a factory today, so I would like to go quick factory tour on live. If you joined uh, the webinar last week, it's the same thing. So you can, uh, you don't need to stay unless you want to see again. But uh, I'm gonna put in uh, the next ten minutes, uh, next five minutes as a Q and A session. If there is no question to be asked, I will I will move to the uh, you know, factory tour. All right, I welcome the question, please. All right, I've got the first question. Thank you very much asking. Uh, the question is, is the all the model UGF 6042 and 6042 Mark II still available uh, besides uh, e, the new E model. Let me answer this. Because the Mark II E model is uh, still locating as the uh, you know, middle to high end of uh, you know, market, but uh, you know, I understand that there are, there are lots of people still wants to enter the business, enter the market for uh, this uh, promotional printing. So in our portfolio, UGF Mark II series, which is uh, before the minor change, it's not available anymore because the functionality is 99% or 95% same as E model. Price is slightly increased from a uh, previous model to E model. However, you know, we are not holding uh, two stocks to uh, stock for uh, two different models. However, we have 6042, not a Mark II model, but one model before, which is more an entry model of a uh, entry model to, uh, you know, uh, to the market for a bigger version of the bed. So please ask your local Mimaki representative if you are interested to understand what is our full portfolio uh, besides uh, the new E model. Thanks for asking. Oh, and uh, UGF 7151, as I said in uh, the, the within, uh, within uh, the session, uh, after UGF 7150 and plus two model is uh, released, 
we still handle the UGF 7151 plus, the previous model, because the you know, price gap is high and the people still would like to get more, you know, six head machine for their, for their needs. So we still have two models available. However, we don't hold so much stock for you know, both model. So live stock in Australia is only available, available for uh, the, the two models, the latest model. And the older model is a built to order. All right, any other questions if you have, please. All right, probably uh, the we covered well for today. So uh, again, thank you very much for joining us today. And uh, I know that we finish our session for UJF today. And I'm gonna stop uh, recording now. And we go over to the factory tour in the same line. So please stay, please stay in line.